Welcome to the final installment of Choco Break. We'll be working on the high score frame. I'm just going to change the frame name to high score. This will be a relatively short video. We're going to go back to the library and add the screen high scores into the frame. Again, set the position at 0, 0. And then we're going to add the high score element. Just drag and drop to where you want. We're going to resize it a little bit. Oop, didn't mean to open it up. Resize it a little bit. That way we can make the font bigger. And we're going to position it in the horizontal center. We'll change the text to Comic Sans 14. And we're going to add a string into the uh, horizontal candy. Also change that to Comic Sans. And we'll make this one 28. We're going to change the text to Menu. This will also be in the horizontal center. And we'll use the arrow keys up. We can actually make that a little bit bigger. Let's go 36. And it seems that our font didn't change, so we'll have to change that. Just use the arrow keys to move it up so it's visible. You know, the high scores are automatically recorded. The only thing that we need to do is make a command to go back to the start of the game. So when the mouse clicks within the zone, we're going to make that zone over the word menu. We actually need to make that a little bit bigger. We are going to jump to the title menu frame. Go ahead and make this a bit bigger. That way you can fully see the word menu. And that should be it. Now we should have a completed game. We do need to go back to the gameplay and change one thing. We need to add a at the start of frame command. We need to set the number of lives to three. As you've seen, we didn't have any lives. And now everything should work properly. to zero. 
So score, set score to zero. Or we can also add those commands to the high score. To the high score frame. At the start of high score, we can also, or instead of the gameplay, at the, on the high score, we can set that. And that would actually be the proper way if you were to add additional levels. I'll just show you something that I made in the standard version and I'll actually go to individual frames. In the second frame I've added a second object and as you'll see when the dark chocolate is broken it becomes a regular milk chocolate. And this isn't just a standard only feature. We can also do this in the free version. But you can only have one level in the free version. And then in the next frame, I've added some power ups. As well as a third, third element. I'm actually just going to restart that it doesn't have all of the the coding. As you see when it hits the orange, it can create two balls or it splits. And it's it's just something I threw together so it doesn't have the best of logic. But there is also a cherry. Which let me find that. A cherry power up. That gives you extra points. So yeah, that's not just a standard feature only, but you are capable of having more than just three frames. So instead of having everything laid out in just one frame, you can gradually build up to it, which is what this game does. I will have a link for this after I change those few bugs for you to download, and it will be down in the description below if you want to check that out. And thank you for watching.